Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Tom Wood and this is my wife Jeanette and we're doing Sifter Sessions uh, once again and uh, today we're talking about procrastination and we've called the theme Not Yet. Before we start today's episode, we're gonna let you know uh, that next Monday we're gonna do more of a Q&A type of thing. So um, please do let us know in the comments or send us uh, some DMs uh, of your questions, what you would like us to talk about uh, so that we can prepare because we'll probably need to. So we renamed this episode Not Yet. Not Yet. So what do you mean by that? It's like a gladiator. Uh, what? It is. Yes, <laughs> that's not the reason. <laughs> no, it's uh, uh, we're talking about procrastination, about how you're uh, putting off doing uh, what you're supposed to do until you can't wait any longer. And that's kind of been uh, my story. Yeah. Doing doing stuff, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about how I've gone from looking kind of being embarrassed about that and uh thinking that it's a flaw of mine mm. uh and then going to kind of embracing um the way that i work and the way that i work best just to give some context uh whenever i uh, say say i for example i get a project uh, that's due in one month mm. that means i have four working weeks to and that means you'll start right away no just jump on it uh, well, Just well, it, it does kind of. So right now, uh, uh, I will probably not start doing the brunt of the work before the last week. It's been it's been a big deal for me uh, for my like self image. I think I've I've always looked up to people who seem to be able to just mash out incredible amounts of work mm -hmm. uh, creatively as well. Mm -hmm. And I've never been able to. Well, my my uh, self image has has been um, down a little every time. Uh, I, I can't work as efficient as I would like. Uh, but then over time, talking to other freelancers, I realized that there's a lot of other people struggling with the same things. Mm -hmm and uh, especially in the creative field. Okay, so you mentioned that you sometimes wait until the last week to like really get started. But how do you use the time before you have to actually start? It's really important for me and for my brain to kind of get a full picture and start planning as soon as I get the project. My brain kind of works on it uh, through the whole phase of mm. not actually doing the job and uh, depending on the job I'll, I'll, I'll kind of save up different ideas throughout those weeks if mm. we're using the example of one month mm. like week two and three will be my brain kind of working subconsciously all the time I like doing research basically and kind of preparing myself without jumping into the the actual doing of the work. So the thing about productivity that we also have talked a lot about is sometimes it makes you feel that you're you're not kind of good enough but you have to achieve so much to get a cert to a certain point. Mm. In the beginning when I was uh, maybe procrastinating uh, a lot mm. and uh, waiting until the last minute when the panic arrived uh, then I then I would smash out uh, in in no time uh, all all of the work that I had to do to finish uh, and that always made me feel um, not good uh, <laughs> I, I ended up always thinking oh, what if I what if mm. I would have started earlier yeah. and I remember you you also uh, kind of had the same voice. I've tried to do that as well for some things. Uh, it doesn't really, I, I it doesn't really end up with the same. My, the the ideas aren't as good. Or maybe that's not like your best way to work. Definitely. Kind of goes because, as you mentioned, I was that voice kind of telling you 
Okay, but then you just start now and you just finish then mm. and then you just deliver. That's yeah. easy. That's the because solution. You're coming with yeah. with your uh, your version of the solution. What would be the solution for you? Yeah. And, and because does not you just... necessarily fit with what would be the solution for me. I work in totally different. I'm a project manager and I have to think totally different. No, but you're you're kind of working with creatives at the same time, so you you should have you're getting more uh, acquainted with uh, with the way us yeah. creatives work, I guess. Yeah, I do, and <laughs> it just and wouldn't I, work for you at all. I'm not the creative one. I'm not the one that's gonna create something. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna um, make it easier for the creative for the creatives. Yeah. So I just need to bring that with me home. To you. That makes sense. It's not because, but it's not always easy because you're my husband. I just want to say, just finish, you know, just start, just finish and then come up and help with the kids, you know. <laughs> yeah. We've both been talking about the same feeling that it gives us when you you get so much uh, input from different aspects of how you're gonna be productive and how mm. you know. I just read like articles today, like right. You can't see this, but you know, like. 10 must read books that will make you ridiculously productive. So you just have to read those 10 books and everything will be fine, you know. Or like 11 tweaks to your morning routine that will make your entire day more productive. So just 11 small tweaks and you will be perfect all day, you know. Throughout the years when I've been my own boss, uh, I've, I've read a lot of those articles and books and yeah, YouTube yeah, we videos. Yeah, we do. We always do. Because... And, and I'm really inspired. Uh, and some of those... Also say that if you don't put them into practice, they're they're worthless, mm, which mm. they really are. Uh, but uh, <laughs> I remember trying over and over and over to implement some of these things into my routines, like um, doing doing this and that in the morning, and uh, uh, making a new system uh, and working through that, and different tools and gadgets and mm. everything. And uh, I think. My mistake was just taking uh, that advice and just implementing it in my daily routine. Mm. Uh, I think now, some years later, instead of doing that, I'm kind of filtering it and translating it a little bit into who I am and how I work. That's and so uh, yeah. maybe that will be different in five years, but right now it feels like, okay, I'm... I'm I'm gathering a lot of inspiration mm. and information. Mm. I'm not saying like, this is the only way I work and I will never change. Mm. Um, I'm getting a lot of inspiration, but I'm kind of filtering it uh, and seeing like, ah, oh, that that would work for me. That would would maybe work. I think it's about like finding, you have kind of found your sweet spot kind of. And, no, but you, yeah, sometimes. Yeah, but you, you, you still like change. You can't like work the same you can't like work in the same process your entire life because you grow and you learn new stuff and you have to implement them in the way you work. But I think if you if you always trying to change, like totally change, like, okay, oh, he told me that I should work like this. Okay, I jump over there. Mm. Okay, he, oh no, he said that that was much better to get things done. Okay, then I do that. And then you kind of just, you get confused by your own... <clears throat> Yeah, I feel yeah. like you, we are always looking for some kind of um, magical shortcut that will all of a sudden get us really productive. And I think what you're saying is like you actually need to spend time and do the work and test oh. something out and do it thoroughly and not like, oh, I tried this out for two, two, two days and it mm. didn't work. So, so I'm not, I'm, now I'm going to jump on this new thing. Now it's... Now it's meditation. The next time yeah, it's jogging, yeah. and then yeah. and then and so on and so on. Yeah. I've uh, kind of learned to see those two weeks in the middle mm -hmm. that we've been talking about as something valuable, and as something that actually can uh, give my product uh, more kind of thought behind it. It's it's more thought through, I think. Mm -hmm when I start later mm. and it's uh, the, the worst thing about doing something creatively uh, uh, is to actually start too early and then having to restart mm. completely from scratch and like ah oh, the canvas is blank again I have <laughs> nothing now I need to start over so I feel like it's often better to give myself time to th think through and uh, actually relax 
Because if I, I'm like, I'm gonna find a perfect idea. I need an idea. Whoa, whoa, then, whoa. Um, um, then it probably won't be the it best won't idea at all. that comes. <laughs> uh, but uh, if I, instead of that, I'm like, ah, I'm gonna relax. Then all of a sudden, out from nowhere, uh, an idea might pop up, mm. and that can be a, a really good idea. It can be a really horrible idea mm. as well. So in conclusion, I've gone from uh, kind of uh, feeling uh, that I'm not good enough when I don't do stuff right away to actually uh, valuing it. The thing I'm working on right now is is to keep those two weeks in the middle uh, proactive and, mm. and kind of not productive in the same sense of doing that job, but to do something that uh, is giving me value. For example, working on uh, my workflow, for example, so that when I get to the actual actual job, then I will work a little bit faster on, on one of those things. Maybe doing something really boring, uh, like doing a new folder structure, blah, blah, blah. Uh, stuff like that uh, is, is, for me, a good, good thing to spend the time on um, when I'm not doing the job. You mentioned an example in the beginning, like, okay, you have a month until mm. deadline mm. and you work, like you use those three weeks, like you said, uh, kind of working up here and not just like, it's not a product there yet. And then this last week comes and you just like, I'm going to work. I'm going to finish, finish up. But the important thing here is for us to actually communicate about where you are in the mm. process, because it took us a while to figure out how to do this because mm. I needed to know. And now we've figured it out. You've learned a few things. Yeah. Like on our short, short life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and that is of course to like communicate is a big word, like, Oh, just communicate and everything's going to be okay. Mm. But, uh, but when I knew where you were in the process, I could like, we could plan mm. like, especially when we got kids, of course, because it wouldn't be okay for you to just like, Oh, I didn't tell you, but I have to be away for a week now because I'm just going to do this project. I have a deadline. Didn't I tell mm. you? Mm. Cause that's not going to be healthy for our family, no, for no, our no. kids. Uh, say so you have 12 projects like this in, in a year, mm. so every month uh, you will have, uh, say the first week will be planning mm. and then the last week will be working and the two weeks in between would be procrastination. Yeah. But <laughs> then procrastination would uh, probably mean that I, I wouldn't have to work uh, long hours. Probably, yeah, okay, probably. Yeah. Like, let's yeah. let's just take this example. Yeah, let's just. I'm not saying this is our situation yeah. right now, no, or yeah, no, because I'm, I'm starting a business, we're starting a YouTube yes. channel, we're start, uh, doing new web website, we're doing all kinds of stuff. <gasps> we told we told them about the website. Oh no, if we'll look at that example. Uh, it, it could probably be quite nice mm. for a family mm. to have like, oh, we have two weeks uh, where we'll have more time together, and then two weeks. Well, you can you can do your stuff and I can do my stuff, mm. uh, and and that, that sounds pretty nice to me. Yeah, and, it would and, be nice to know every month how it looks. Well, that's not really uh, like often. Often we can know a little bit ahead yeah, of, of time, and and our point here is that we need to communicate as soon as we know mm. um, how the next week is going to look. So when you go into the phase of the project of working a lot because you have to finish before a deadline, I could choose to be frustrated all the time or I could choose to kind of involve myself mm. in your project and that's sometimes a better way to do it because like asking you questions about like what are you doing and how does the project look because I feel like then I know uh, what you are creating and I can it's better like for me to contribute if you involve yourself mm -hmm. uh, it kind of becomes Thank almost you. something that we do together like a team mm -hmm. uh, and we just have different roles uh, within that time limit and, mm -hmm. and we can say okay for this period we're gonna do, do it this way mm -hmm. and we agree on that and uh, then that's fine and then we have to come up with new terms for the next project mm -hmm. and for the next season mm -hmm. and, uh, and and just agree and just mm -hmm. talk about it uh, so, uh, as always, uh, mm -hmm. everything comes down to communication. Yeah. Yeah. That's our tips and thoughts about procrastination and about this whole way of working and living and uh, all of that. So, we'll be back 
next Monday with a new theme, and that is... Yeah, and don't forget the Q&A episode next time. So just comment below, or DM us, or call us, or... Whatever. Whatever. Email. Yeah. Letters. Everything. Yeah. And we'll... We will read We everything. hope we have, we'll have something to talk about. Yeah, hopefully. All right. Have a good week.